welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, hello and welcome. I'm Hayley and I'm mum to a nine month old baby boy called Joel and I upload predominantly all things motherhood with the odd haul thrown in and I try and upload twice a week. So I would absolutely love it if you would hit the subscribe button down below and come and join me over here on this channel. So today I've got a bit of a different video for you guys. I have told you over on Instagram that I'm gonna be doing this video, but I was literally just waiting for everything to arrive. There's a lot of stuff here. I've got this huge, huge box from H&M, plus a load of other stuff from various other places as well. So we're gonna do a little bit of try on haul. So if you're a mum or even if you're not a mum, like me, we have been in lockdown for so, so long now and we have been living in loungewear and prior to that I was living in maternity wear. So it is really, really easy to kind of get stuck in a rut and lose um, a little bit or get worried that you're going to lose a little bit of your style after lockdown or when you first become a mum, you don't really know what to wear, um, you're struggling a little bit and obviously now that things are starting to open up, it's even more difficult because you're like, you're just staring your wardrobe and you're like, all I see is loungewear or stuff that I, do, I would wouldn't wear anymore what can I wear so I follow a lady called Beth Bartram over on Instagram and honestly I love her so much she's so lovely so down to earth she's also got a channel on YouTube so definitely check her out um, but I get a lot of my style inspo from her she is literally a bit of me we've got very similar fashion sense and she has had three children and she looks amazing so so yeah I've kind of put some of these outfits together um, from things that I've seen on her Instagram page or her YouTube channel and then other things I've just kind of seen on a website and just chucked them together myself and thought oh they would look quite nice um, so yeah I'm going to link everything that I've bought in the description box down below for you as always I'm just going to kind of talk you through everything I've bought and then show you um, in the try on clip how I would style it um, and what bits I would put with what so hopefully it will give you some spring outfit ideas I'm going to do my top 10 spring outfits and I might do a bonus outfit for you as well we will see what time my, my child wakes up he's currently napping in the next room it could be 10 minutes it could be an hour and a half who knows so let's get into the video obviously we're going to start with H&M this massive box of stuff because they are my absolute favorite H&M I've always liked them especially for baby clothes as well I've done a few baby H&M hauls on here but H&M oh my god they are absolutely coming through with the clothing this spring summer if you haven't looked on our website yet you need to get on this like they've got so much nice stuff and I love their sizing as well I actually find that I can size down in H&M which obviously makes me happy is always a winner so yeah if you haven't been on their website yet definitely check H&M out they have got so 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 many nice things at the moment I'm gonna get right on into it <laughs> okay so oh I don't even know where to start there's so many different styles of outfits here that I've got for you so if you're not particularly into one kind of style there'll be a few different styles going on here so hang tight um and we will get into this Okay, so probably one of my favourite purchases. This can be styled with so many different things and this has become a little bit Instagram famous, especially across like the mum accounts that I follow um, that kind of do motherhood and fashion mixed in with their pages. This has been shared so many times. Um, so this is all from, as I said, this is all the H&M stuff first. So this was $24.99 in H&M and this is a beige oversized blazer. And this, like I said, can literally be styled in so many different ways. I'll show you a couple of them in a second, but there's just endless things that you could just chuck this on with. I'm even gonna, so I'm due back at work next week after mat leave, and I am definitely going to be wearing this for work occasionally as well. So I will show you in a second what I would style this with. Okay, then the next thing I got from H&M was this gorgeous square neck crop top. So I got this in a size medium, and I would probably, I've got this in a size small because I, I've lost all of my baby weight now. My body still isn't the same as it was before. I've got flabby bits that I didn't used to have, but I still think that I'm bigger than what I actually am. Um, so I actually ordered this in a medium and it's quite big. So I would definitely size down in this, but it's this gorgeous um, square neck crop top and that is the back of it. I love this so, 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 so much. You can style this again with so many different things. And again, I will show you in a second what I would put this with. Um, but this was $12.99 in H&M. So for a crop top, it wasn't the cheapest, but it's really thick material. It's not that see-through um, and it's really good quality as well. So the next thing that I picked up on the H&M website were these gorgeous wide leg trousers. So wide leg trousers are bang on trend this spring summer. I've seen a lot of people um, getting back into these. The only thing I would say about these is that they are quite see-through, but if you wear a pair of nude underwear underneath, you won't have an issue. 
um, but these are almost like a slightly silky material and they're like this gorgeous oatmeal beige colour. We are all obsessed with this colour at the moment. I absolutely love it. And I think these were only, okay, when you buy stuff online, they don't give you the prices. I'm sure these were 12 99 but I will link them down below for you. But they are just these wide leg trousers and I actually got these in a size large because I've got really big hips. However, they are massive. It doesn't matter to me, I'm not going to bother returning them and exchanging them because I can pull them right in at the waist and I'll show you in the try-on clip. But I definitely would have got these in a size medium because, again, they are really, really big. So the next thing I picked up was a pair of denim mum shorts. Is it even summer if you don't treat yourself to a new pair of denim mum shorts? I actually had a pair pretty much the same as this from Primark that I got two summers ago. But obviously I didn't wear them last summer because I was pregnant. Um, and then... I tried them on the other day and they were just a little bit tight around the leg. I like my mum shorts to be baggy around the thigh and a lot of them aren't. So I actually went for, what size did I get in these? I got these in a size 14 purely for the fact, so normally a 12 on the bottom, purely for the fact that I like them baggy around the thigh. I don't like them clinging to the thigh too much. But these were, um, again, 12 99 which is such a good price for a pair of shorts of this quality. And I've tried them on before. I'll show you again in a second, but they are so flattering on the bum as well. And they're high-waisted, so you cannot go wrong with anything high-waisted. I don't really think I wear trousers anymore unless they're high-waisted. Um, but yeah, I love the colour. These actually came in three different colours. So they had like two darker denims. Actually, I think they had a lighter pair than this and a darker pair than this, but I kind of went for the mid blue because I love this colour. So then next we just have a really basic top. This was 3 dollars and it's this basic black um, vest style crop top. I also bought this in white, but then I saw the um, square neck one that I showed you a minute ago and thought that would be nicer. So I've sent the white one back already. But yeah, like I said, this was 3 dollars and it comes in white and I think they had it in like a bright green or a yellow colour as well. But again, you can style this with so many different things. And I love how low the neck and the, um, the back bit are. I love a scoop neck. You can't go wrong. The next, I picked up this straw hat. So I haven't really been, um, I always wear a baseball cap. That is like my thing. In the winter, I wear a beanie or a baseball cap. Um, but I haven't really been like a summer hat person for quite a while now. Um, but I actually saw this styled with, um, I'll show you everything that I'm going to put it with. But I actually saw this styled with a whole outfit from H&M on Instagram the other day and I had to buy everything in the styling clip. Um, so I got this straw hat, this was 9 99 and just bear with, okay? It looks so nice with the entire outfit on. Um, like I said, I can just imagine um, like being on holiday in the south of France, which is where we're due to go at the end of August and wearing this with the other stuff that I've got to go with it. Um, and I just think it will look so, so nice. Or like even with a bikini and a white shirt open on the beach and some little sandals. I just think there's, again, there's so many things that you could put this with and it just kind of makes an outfit that little bit more um, stylish. So then this is kind of what I bought to go with the hat. So this is a really long, you're not going to be able to see it all on camera, a really, really long black t-shirt midi dress. So it's really, really baggy amazing for covering up any flabby bits you've got post baby that you might not be as confident with so like me it's my mum tum this just covers it all up it makes me feel so slim because it just literally hangs off me so it comes all the way down to the calf and then it's got side splits at each side and I think this one was it was either 9.99 or 12.99 but again I will link it in the description box down below and it also comes in like a gorgeous beige slash oatmeal colour as well um, so yeah, this is just perfect for chucking on for your summer holiday or if you're just going out to the beach for a day or if it's a hot day and you're just going out and about with your baby and your friends and you just want something you can chuck on that's going to be comfortable. This is your dress, okay? Just trust me on this one. Then I picked up, so this was actually in the sale. It was normally, oh, this one does have the price on. So this was normally $24.99, which I think is a lot of money to pay for a swimsuit. Um, but you know, we do it if we see one we like. This was in the sale for $17.99 and it's this um, gorgeous like oatmeal colour, again, obsessed with it. It's like an oatmeal slash cream, I think, and it's this kind of like ruchy material and it's a really low scoop back all in one swimsuit. And I've been wearing these a lot since having Joel and because it's high leg, it's not frumpy. It looks really nice and flattering. Um, I was always a bikini girl or like a sexy swimsuit girl before I had babies, but you have to move with the times. You have to go with what your body's doing, you know? So I have picked this up. 
I actually wanted a bodysuit and I couldn't find one like this anywhere that wasn't out of stock in my size. So I've actually picked this up to wear as a bodysuit with shorts, really. But I will also be wearing this when I take Joel swimming, bonus, two outfits in one. Um, but yeah, I just thought that was such a nice colour for summer. And again, something that's really easy just to like throw on. The last thing I picked up in H&M are this two pack of sports socks. I've been wearing so many of these recently. These were $3.99 for this pack of two. I think there is just a plain white pair and then the pair with stripes around the top, which I will mainly be wearing. Um, so I've got a couple of pairs of these now. I've got the Nike ones and I've got a pair from PLT, which has got their like logo banded around the top. And I always wear them with like cycling shorts or leggings, a pair of chunky trainers, and then these ankle socks that is kind of like, they're everywhere right now. Um, and I thought they would only be a winter thing, but they seem to be like continuing for summer um, with obviously a pair of cycling shorts. So I've just picked up a few more pairs because I pretty much wear them like most days at the moment where I'm doing a lot of walking and it's been locked down. Um, I will just chuck on a pair of trainers and style these with it because it just kind of makes the outfit. Okay, so then we were, that was like my main haul and then we will move on to the random bits and bobs that I've picked up off various different websites. So the first thing that, oh my God, so the, again, these are something that is like literally all over Instagram right now. Everyone's just gone mental for them. I'm surprised they're not sold out. I feel like Very keep restocking them. So yeah, these were from Very, which I never would have thought to shop on. I just didn't think like to look on there. Um, but these are a pair of khaki coloured cycling shorts. I have worn these a few times already because I'm obsessed with them. These were in the sale for £6. And I've also seen like occasionally, if you keep checking them back on the website, occasionally they'll drop them to like £4.50 or something like that. And then they go back up again. Um, but yeah, I paid £6 for these. I got these in a size medium, which is fine. These are the best, thickest, most contouring cycle shorts you will ever own in your entire life. They suck you in so well. They're so thick. They're almost like a pair of control pants, like Spanx, whatever you call them. Um, but guys, these are literally going to be my staple for the spring summer. I love them so much. And then, so that was the only thing I picked up from Berry. I also got a random pair of cycling shorts from Matalan as well. So this black pair of cycling shorts, again, they are contour ones. So they will suck you in nice and tight. And I got these in a size 10 um, because I like them to hold me in as much as possible. Um, and obviously with the cycle shorts they're a bit stretchy so you can get away with going a little bit smaller in them. Um, I think these were £10 in Matalan which is a little bit more pricey but obviously they're contour ones and they're nice and thick so yeah anything that will suck in my mum time I am going to pay as much money as I need to to get that item in my basket. So yeah, again, I had a black pair of black cycling shorts from last summer, but I did wear them when I was pregnant and they're kind of very stretchy now. They don't hold me in at all. They're just flimsy. They haven't got any like control or suction in them. So yeah, I thought it was time for a new pair of black cycling shorts. Okay, then I picked up a couple of things from Misguided. These are both based on Beth Bartram's page. So like I said, I'll link them down below for you. The first item is this gorgeous Yacht Club sweatshirt. So this looks white, but it's actually a very, very, very pale baby pink, which is why I put off getting it because I'm not sure, like I'm not really a massive pink person. If it's loungewear or pajamas, great, give me all the pink not really to wear out in the day mm -mm, it's just not a bit of me i'm more of like a neutral colors girl um but this is actually really nice because it's really subtle and i love the fact it's got the green stripes around the bottom and around the cuffs so i'm thinking these this actually had a matching pair of wide leg trousers with it and they were like this color green um wide leg sort of jogger type trousers and on the website, the model was wearing this tucked in to those trousers, and that's what that's what I saw it with on Beth Bartram's page as well. Um, but I don't know, can I wear green trousers? I don't know if I could get away with it. So for now, I've just bought the sweatshirt and I could style it with some mum shorts or maybe that pair of wide leg trousers that I got from HM. I don't know. We'll try some stuff on in a minute and I will show you what it looks like. But this was in a size 10 and it's actually from the petite section but it's absolutely fine because I've got quite short arms anyway so it's not an issue and I think this was in the sale it was about £16.50 um hopefully it's not sold out but I'll link it down below for you guys anyway the second and final thing that I picked up in Misguided was another sweatshirt so again seen it on Beth Bartram's page and it's another thing you can just chuck on with some cycling shorts or some mum like denim mum shorts it's this white cricket style jumper. So it's got the V-neck and the misguided logo on it. It's just a plain white sweater. Um, but I like the fact it's got the V-neck. It'll be a nice one when you're on holiday just to chuck on in the evening when it gets a little bit chilly. 
just chuck it on over a swimsuit and some shorts, nice and easy, it still looks stylish, you're good to go. Okay, like I said, there are a lot of shops featured in this haul, but it's a massive spring haul and you can't always get your stuff from the same website, you know, so bear with guys, bear with. The next thing I picked up was from PLT. I've actually had this for a couple of months now, um, but we move, it's still for sale on there. And also a lot of the other websites, like I saw it first, and I think this guy did as well with selling this. They've also jumped on this hype and they've started selling these as well. So it's this massive oatmeal colored oversized sweater. It's just plain on the front. It's really long. I think they're, it's classed as a sweater dress. So it's great. It just covers your bum. Like it just looks amazing. And then on the back, it's got this Buffalo New York slogan on in like a dark brown writing. And it goes down the sleeve as well, which is what I love. Um, so yeah, I have been wearing this around the house as loungewear, but I actually saw on Beth Bartram's spring haul the other day that she styled it with some cycling shorts and a bum bag and it looked amazing. So I'm gonna do that in a second and we will check out what it looks like because that is what I will be wearing this with. Okay, then is it even spring if you don't have a beige jacket? So I have bought a couple of jackets recently. I've got a lovely oversized khaki one that I've been wearing quite a lot. I'm not gonna feature it in this haul because it will just be like, too many outfits and you guys will get so bored so this is the jacket that i picked up in beige i love this um kind of like balloon sleeve detailing at the bottom i picked this up in a size 16 because i really really wanted to size up with it and even it's not as big as i probably would have wanted it even in a 16 so do size up if you like that oversized jacket look this was from nasty girl and i think this was around 20 pounds something like that i will link it down below for you um but i looked everywhere to get a really nice beige jacket for spring and i had a few delivered like from misguided and places like that and i wasn't keen on the color they were a bit too much of a pinky beige but this one arrived and i love it it's got pocket detailing as well which is lovely um and that is the back so again there's so many different way ways you can style this um and it's just one of those staple pieces for your spring summer wardrobe I picked up one thing from boohoo actually i got a couple of things from boohoo um but some of them were cycling shorts and leggings and they didn't hold me in enough they were just too flimsy so i've returned them but this spring summer these white oversized shirts are just everywhere um so i would wear this with a pair of cycling shorts and i'll show you in a second I think this was 12 99 and it's a massive white long oversized shirt again this is just a staple piece for your wardrobe this will never date it will never really go out of style i've never really remembered a summer where these shirts like people aren't wearing these shirts so if you don't have one already definitely buy one you want to get those staple pieces in there that were just you can just wear like year after year and they're not really fast fashion things so you don't need to worry about them going out of style um, but at the moment, these are very, very, very much in. Um, there's fast fashion trends that you can style these with, but the piece itself actually won't date at all. And it covers up the mum tum, so who wouldn't want it in their wardrobe, you know? <sighs> I think we're pretty much there. Um, oh, okay, so the last pair of cycling shorts that I have picked up, this gorgeous, like, brownie colour cycling shorts. I don't like cycling shorts that are too long. They just they just look silly on me because I've got quite long legs so to have long cycling shorts it sounds silly but they just don't suit me I prefer the shorter ones so all of the ones that I've picked up in this haul are slightly shorter these were actually from a website called monkey I'll find the label and show you that's where it's from um, and I got these in a size medium I probably could have got away with a small because they are quite big and I think these were in the sale for six pounds plus postage um they had an amazing ribbed light beige pair in H&M that everyone was like raving about and I think they've sold out now which I very 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 nearly bought and then I decided that because I'm going to be styling them with the shirt I want them a little bit darker so yeah I've gone for this colour um I love these they are so 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 nice I've actually got a pair of leggings basically the same as this that I am obsessed with but yeah I wouldn't have thought to look on this website and I was just googling because I couldn't find any in a beige sort of colour that was short enough, they were all long or they didn't hold you in or yeah, they were just see-through. And then this random website came up and yeah, found these for six pounds, so you cannot go wrong. So I think we're on to the last things. So this is my little, oh, where have they gone? Okay, so these are the bits that I've picked up in ASOS. I am loving ASOS for accessories and shoes at the moment. So the first thing I've picked up are these sunglasses. These were in the sale for six pounds and they've got the kind of like hexagon 
shape on the bottom and they are so flattering I love them so much I'm just going to pop them on now to show you but yeah I think they are a bit of me I struggle to find sunglasses that suit like my face shape and stuff um I'm not that keen on aviators but I saw these ones from um Key Australia the Jezebel ones I think they are but they're like 50 pounds and can I justify spending 50 pounds on a pair of sunglasses? Probably not. So I was searching high and low and who would have thought it would be so difficult to find a similar shape sunglasses to the Key Australia ones, but it was. And so I literally, I must have gone through about 20 pages of sunglasses on ASOS and then I found these ones and they were going in my basket, okay? So yeah, these kind of gold framed, simple, like black lens sunglasses. They're again, they're very in this spring summer. So these are gonna go with so many different outfits. I've got so many pairs of sunglasses, but these are definitely my favorites. They are the first pair that I felt have properly suited me in like a long time. So I will probably not be taking these off all summer. And finally, I just picked up two pairs of shoes in ASOS. So these are a very controversial, love it or hate it shoe. Um, they are the dad sandals and they are everywhere at the moment. So everyone on Instagram is wearing them. Um, I've seen a lot of people styling these in really nice ways. I've actually just realized I've worn these and haven't taken the label off the bottom. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I love them. I'm not sure whether I'd go as far as styling them with sports socks, which is what some people have been doing. I'm not sure I'm brave enough to do that, but these are fantastic. And if you get any shoe this summer, you need to get a pair of these. So then I also picked up some similar dad sandals. These are more of a sporty style one. And again, these were 18 pounds in ASOS. I think they were in the sale again. I've worn these a few times already because I just couldn't wait. I've worn them with my cycling shorts and again, so, so, so comfy. They're a slightly different style, but obviously in this gorgeous beige color and oh, I just love them. Okay, so the first pair that I picked up is this pair of black ones. They have got a fairly chunky sole, but I didn't want them too chunky because some of them are really, really chunky. Um, just because I've got quite big feet and I just feel like they make my feet look a lot bigger, um, like even bigger than they already are. So these were £18, which I think is an amazing price. These are one of the cheapest dad sandals that I have seen. Um, so yeah, they are so comfy. Like, I can't even tell you how comfy these are. Now we are going to get into the try-on clips. I don't know how I'm going to do this because there's some things that I would style with one outfit and then I'd style it again with another outfit. So I think I'm just literally going to run through the outfits in order of the stuff that I showed you. And then I will show you my top 10 outfits for spring summer. Okay, so the first outfit, and I'm sorry for doing it like this, you're going to have to put up with all of the mess in the background because, you know, try on hauls, clothes everywhere, it's just a mess. I did actually set it up on my tripod over there and try, ugh, can't do it now, try and stand in front of it for you, but... I just couldn't get the whole outfit in and it was stressing me out. So yeah, this is the first outfit. So this is the H&M oversized blazer. I always wear blazers with the sleeves rolled up. They just look so much better in my opinion. And then these are the H&M denim mum shorts. As you can see, they're not too tight around the thigh. I probably would have liked them to have been a little bit, a little bit looser, but I think it's so hard to find denim shorts like in the mum style that are like that um but yeah they are really really flattering on the bum and i love them and then this is the white square neck crop top so the back of it is so nice i love it i did tell you that i needed to size down into a size small because the straps do fall down a little bit but we move we move and then i have just styled this with my gold watch that i've had for years and um my beige dad sandals from asos so like i said when these are on they are actually really stylish they might not look much or they might look a bit geeky when i showed you them in the haul clip but when they are on i just love them they're so comfy and i just think they make the outfit personally um but yeah this is such a good outfit for daytime like casual just going out for like a baby and mum date or like a picnic in the park and it's perfect for like going out to a pub garden in the evenings you can dress this up this is such a good all-round outfit that you can wear from day to night time and this will definitely be one of my probably my most worn outfits this spring summer and while i've got the shorts on just to quickly show you guys this is the swimsuit from h&m that i will mainly be wearing as a bodysuit i love it so much you'll have to excuse me i've got a crop top on underneath it for my bra today um, and i can't be bothered to take it off so again this will look nice with these sandals or maybe with these black ones as well. I actually think they look really nice. But yeah, just for like a simple, easy outfit. You could even chuck the white shirt on over this and it would look nice. Just to chuck on and go to the beach, go for a day out. I think it's really, really nice and easy. And obviously doubles up as a swimsuit as well. So you cannot go wrong. 
Okay, and then the final outfit in these shorts is with the Yacht Club sweatshirt from Misguided. I've just teamed it with this little um, black tassel bag um, that I've actually had for years. I used to wear this to festivals all the time. I think it looks quite cute with it. And then um, the black dad sandals as well. Um, I've just basically tucked the sweater into the shorts just to give it, I don't know, I just think it finishes it off quite nicely. And yeah, I love this. This is just perfect for chucking on in the evening if it gets a bit chilly or just wearing out like this on those days that aren't actually roasting hot. But to be honest, I do really, really, really want to properly dress this up and try it with a pair of wide leg trousers and be a bit out there as well. So I might try it with those. But if you have a look on the website, you will see what I mean. They have got like a pair of the green wide leg joggers on with this. And I don't know, I might be a bit daring and try it with them because I do personally really like the look. So yeah, but at the moment I'm happy with this. I think it looks really cute and it's just the perfect little spring summer easy to chuck on outfit but these trousers I love them so much I do have to do them up quite tight because I did get the um, size large I probably should have got a medium and my waist is a little smaller than my bum so yeah um but I do love this so much and when I've got a proper bra on it's going to look a lot better um and I also think because I've added these little gold earrings that I got from Misguided a few months back. So I think with like a low sleek bun and a little clutch bag, this will be a lovely outfit for going out in the evening with, especially when you're on holiday. But yeah, oh my God, I am so obsessed with it. It's so, so, so nice. It looks really classy. And this is definitely going to be one of my most worn favourite outfits in my spring summer wardrobe this year. This is another one of my absolute favourites. I love it so much. So it's the Dan Sandals from ASOS, the straw hat and the massive oversized midi t-shirt dress from H&M. Guys, it has pockets. It has pockets. Anything with pockets, I'm just so obsessed with. These are also the sunglasses from ASOS. And then I've just, again, teamed it with my black festival bag. This was actually from New Look. And like I said, I got it about four years ago before a festival that I was going to. And this bag has probably had the most wear out of all of my summer bags in my wardrobe it's so such a good bag you can style it with anything and it will just stay in it's one of those staple pieces that will stay in your wardrobe for years and years and years and i love things like that I've got slits at the bottom it is so comfy it doesn't cling anywhere and i've got big hips like this literally does not cling to me anywhere at all sorry i haven't done my sandals up but i am slipping them on and off for these try on clips so um, I am massively rushing because I'm getting like detections on the baby monitor to say that he could have woken up and we've got a few more outfits to get through. So anyway, guys, if you are a mum, especially, and you've got a mum time that you want to cover up a little bit in the summer, but still look stylish, this outfit is the one. Oh, guys, I love this outfit so much. And I'm fully aware that I am saying this about all of the outfits, but this is a bit of me and if you follow me on Instagram you will know that I wear stuff like this a lot I'm a little bit of a tomboy I'm a girly girl but I'm like I do like the sort of tomboy vibes as well so I actually saw this on Sarah Ashcroft's channel um on her spring fashion haul and I thought that's such a good way of putting stuff together sorry I'm out of breath I've just run downstairs to get these trainers to style with it these are my white chunky trainers that I've had for ages they actually need a wash but I've put them on with a pair of the sports socks from my H&M haul. The black cycling shorts from Matalan. I'm sorry, they've got see-through bits at the side. We ignore that. I'll probably put some black pants on underneath them. And then this is the little black crop top from H&M. And then my beige jacket from Nasty Girl. And this Yankees cap, I've had this for years. I pretty much wear this with everything. I've also got it in khaki as well. And I'm probably going to get a beige one. Just because you can never have too many baseball caps. I wear them most days. Um, guys, I love this outfit so much. This is more sort of like mum date, out pushing the pram type outfit. I also get paranoid sometimes wearing stuff like this because I'm like, I probably need to be 21 and not 31 to wear stuff like this. But do you know what? If you're okay with it, why not? Why not? So yeah, this is one of my favourite outfits so far for like the more casual side of spring summer. And yeah, this is definitely a hit. I'm definitely going to be wearing this one quite a lot, I think. I would not have the confidence to wear this without the jacket, just purely because of my mum tum, um, which, to be fair, in these cycle shorts, it's not too bad at all. It's pretty much absolutely fine, but obviously they've got these see-through bits at the side, so yeah, I would definitely keep the jacket on with it. But yeah, pair of sunnies, chuck your cap on, you don't really have to bother with your hair, when you're a busy mum, you are all about stuff like this. You 
cannot go wrong. Anything with a hat, I am just all over. Then I don't really have to bother with my hair, which I rarely get time to do anyway. So yeah, this is a little bit of me, this outfit. This is probably the most me out of all the outfits that we have tried on so far. Okay guys, we are back to the blazer again. I have put my favourite khaki cycling shorts on. These are the ones from Very with the beige dad sandals. I've kept the black crop top on to style with this outfit. And yeah, for something a little bit more dressy. So say you're going out to like a pub garden or like day drinking with friends, this is probably like the perfect outfit. Little beige shoulder bag or a clutch bag. And I just think this will be perfect. Or even if you're just out with the baby during the day, just pushing a pram around, these sandals are so comfy. You can go for like a little summer daytime walk in this outfit and you will still look stylish. And yeah, these cycling shorts, if you don't have them, you really need to go onto Very and buy them because they hold you in so well. And yeah, the mum tum is not wobbly at all in these cycling shorts. I would literally wear them every single day if I could. But yeah, obviously you have to switch it up sometimes, but this whole outfit put together, I just, I just love it so much. And the next outfit is one that I have been wearing a lot recently. You may have seen it on my Instagram stories a few times because I just could not wait to wear it. It's so easy just to chuck on. Like me and Joel went to watch his daddy play football on Sunday. I literally just threw this on with the sunglasses that I showed you a minute ago and... I just love it. It's so comfy. So yeah, while I've got the cycle shorts and the sandals on, I just thought I'd throw the jumper on and show you what I would style it with. I love how big and baggy the sleeves are as well. And a lot of the time I wear this sleeve rolled up. So you've got the watch out. I'll put a couple of like little bracelets on with it as well, just to accessorize a little bit. Um, you could even throw your black baseball cap or a khaki, um, like a beige baseball cap on with this and it would look really nice. But yeah, just for a casual daytime spring summer outfit, I'd probably say more spring because the sweater's quite thick. So you don't really want to be wearing it when it gets really hot. But yeah, for just a casual daytime throw on outfit that still looks really stylish, I would say this is one of the perfect ones. I would also style this whole outfit with my chunky trainers and sports socks as well, just to give you a little variation of footwear with it. But yeah, absolute fave. Okay, so the next outfit is, again, one that I saw Beth style, Beth Bartram style on one of her spring try-on hauls the other day. So like I said, I've had this sweatshirt for a while. Even when I saw her haul, I already had this. I used to just wear it lounging around in the house. But when I saw her style it with this, I thought it's a great way to style it for going out for the day. So obviously it's the one with the buffalo um, sign on the back. You can't really see it that well. And I've just styled it with this bum bag that I've had for absolute years. I used to wear this to raves when I was younger so I could dance hands-free. Um, and then I put the sports socks on with it. And then these are the beige slash brown cycling shorts from Monkey. Again, I've linked these down below for you. And I just think it's such a nice casual outfit. Again, if you're out and about with baby or even with your friends, if you're not a mum and you're watching this, I do apologise. Um, I Obviously, that is my life. So that's what I will mainly talk about. I love these socks with it. I can't decide whether I would style this with my chunky trainers or with a pair of beige sliders that I have under my bed that I need to dig out for the next outfit, actually. I can't decide. I don't know if I'm brave enough to wear socks and sliders. However, that is how I've seen people style this outfit. So I might have to be a bit daring and give it a go because I feel like that kind of does make the outfit. Again, it's one of those outfits where you're kind of like, I'm in my 30s now. Can I get away with wearing this? However, a lot of the mums that I follow on Instagram wear stuff like this all the time. They absolutely rock it every single time and they are in their 30s. They're older than me and they look amazing in all of the outfits. So it kind of tells me that I probably can still get away with this, maybe for at least a few more years. Um, but again, so comfy, probably more of a spring rather than a full summer outfit because this jumper is very, very thick. But just for a casual, stylish throw on daytime outfit I love this and I would also probably chuck my baseball cap on with this as well just to kind of make up the outfit and accessorize it like a little bit more one I thought I would show you while I've got the cycling shorts on but it could very easily be a casual daytime outfit as well so I've just kept the monkey cycling shorts on and it's this white oversized shirt from Boohoo. You can, I've seen these on H&M as well. You can just get them in so many places for not too much money. And you can style them with so many things. So again, like I said, you could wear this open with the denim mum shorts and a crop top or bikini top underneath. I have just styled this with my YSL um, clutch bag and my little beige sliders. These were literally just from Primark. Um, I think I got these the summer before last. I've got them in black as well and they are so comfy. I just chuck them on to go out in the evening and 
yeah they are one of my favorite little pairs of summer shoes so like I said, such an easy but stylish outfit. And I've seen it that people are kind of wearing these with one side tucked in and one side out, um, which I don't know, it seems to be the thing at the moment. So that's how I've styled this shirt. Um, but yeah, I love it so much. And like I said, it's a really, really good day to night outfit. So if you're out during the day, but you want something that's still going to be a bit dressy, if you're going straight out for the evening, oh, can't you just not wait to come out of lockdown? I'm so, so excited. But yeah, if you want something like that, then this outfit is the one and obviously I could wear this with my khaki cycling shorts as well that would look really nice and just mix it up a little bit but yeah absolutely loving this one so there you go guys they are my top favorite spring slash summer outfits that I am loving this year and the huge haul with all the items that I bought as I said everything will be linked down in the description box below for you I'm really hoping this video isn't too long I mean it's taken me about an hour to film it so I'm hoping it'll be just under that if it's under 30 minutes then we will be laughing so I'm sorry if it ends up being a lot longer than that but I just couldn't get the outfits in otherwise and I hope it's given you some ideas of what to wear especially if you're a new mum we're coming out of lockdown and you've had a baby since we were last not in lockdown so you're a little bit like what the hell do I wear what is even in fashion at the moment I hope that has given you some little ideas Sorry, I had a hair in my mouth. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. I will catch you in the next video. Mwah. Bye. I'm thinking you were made for me. It's in my birthday, yeah, because I gotta say, you're looking.